clutch shaft. I hadn't realised this was so complicated. And you know if I've got the, uh, the tripod out then it's getting serious. So the big debate is are these any good? These are a, a tapered pin. <clears throat> and a lot of people, including Jaguar, went for the for a straight pin used on the 150. Now David Manners and SNG Barrett don't list the straight pin setup, they only list this tapered pin setup, so they don't do it. Um, there are other companies that do, and so I thought, oh, easy enough, I'll just go out and buy a new shaft and some new pins, fit it, and jobs are good in. But now I went and had a look at one this morning, and the, the new pins in the shafts that they supply just wobbled around everywhere. It was an awful fit. So I was in no better position um, using that shaft, so back to the old shaft. And I have picked up another tapered pin. Now, this is the first pin I had. This is from David Manners, and I can't I can't actually measure the difference. They actually measure the same virtually, but they fit in the hole differently. And this will have to fit this hole. This hole is from where I was on a left-hand drive setup. And if you go into a right-hand drive setup, you swap to that, which is fortunate because the old pin had sheared in here and I had to heat it up. And perhaps that has changed the size of that hole. Because that's just no good at all. I'd have been better off just thrashing that out with a punch, I think. But anyway, so I can you go to this hole which has never been used before and it goes in from this direction. And so this is the David Manners pin. And I can push that in tight, but I can still turn it, so that taper isn't going in far enough. Now, this is another one I've picked up. And I've actually blackened that. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's some shiny spots on there, which is sort of showing me that the taper is about the same. And I can push that in. And it doesn't. It leaves about half a mil there between the thread and the shaft, and I can't turn that now. So that's that's going and unlocking. So I'm going to go with this because I I don't see how a good fitting taper is any weaker than a straight. And I, in my mind, that's actually a stronger a stronger joint. Unless your straight pin is actually a real, real tight interference fit. And that's hard to achieve. Well, for me it is anyway. But something else I hadn't realised. I was going to use this as it is. Um, that's been in 60 years. Never failed. Nothing wrong with that. But... When you swap it to the other side, this shaft is at this lever is on upside down. So I've actually got to take this out. Um, because the setup, I'm trying to get it in my head, is like that. But the side I want to put the pin in is this side instead of this side. So this has got to move 180 degrees round. So I'll try and get that out, which I think the chances of that are probably zero. But we shall see. Same situation as trying to get the other pin out. It's sheared off there. But that's that's a fresh shear. It hasn't been breaking there 
by the look of it over the years. I should be able to knock that out from the other side without heating it. Well, it's not coming out with brute force. I've thrashed that and it won't come out. So I've drilled it so far. I'll try it again. But I'm very surprised how soft the material is. It drills out very easily. So it's nothing special. I think these holes are reamed with a taper. This is an original hole. I've got a, a tapered peg here. So that goes all the way in there and goes that far in. So obviously the, <clears throat> the pin goes in from that way. This hole here, which has never been used, goes in that much and that much. So it's pretty much a parallel or straight hole. This one, this end, all the way in to there. So I don't think I had to take this one off. I could have left left that where it was because I was assuming that because this peg went in that much that way and that way it went further in I thought that was a tapered hole and I don't think it is but these these pegs nowhere near on these So, back to the drawing board.